Okay, so this video is going to cover hospitalizations and how to properly enter hospitalizations into HCNet. So once you log into your HCNet, you'll come to a screen similar to this. Yours may look a little bit different. You'll go up to visits, and on the drop down menu, just go ahead and click on visits here. And then let's say the patient that we're putting in a hospitalization for, last name is Smith, and first name is Billy. We'll select him here. And then once this page pulls up, all we're going to do is click on patient. And then kind of here in the middle of your screen, you're going to go over here to the right to manage hospitalizations. So it looks like in 2014, Billy went to Baylor Grapevine. So all you're going to have to do is add in new hospitalization dates. And then you'll just click on that and you'll fill this out as much as you can. So you'll put the in date. Uh, sometimes you'll know the out date if you're the first person being contacted uh, by the patient. Maybe they went into the hospital stayed there for a couple days and then have gotten out, but maybe the nurse or the other therapist hadn't known, then you can put in the out date. You're gonna to wanna to put in the hospital name, the hospital phone number if you had it, and then any sort of hospital contacts or notes that you have. So basically you're gonna to wanna to fill this out as much as possible. And when you're gonna to have to do this is when the patient has been to the hospital and been admitted for more than 24 hours. If your patient you know, goes to the ER for whatever reason and is just there for a couple hours, you wouldn't have to do this, but if they're admitted to the hospital for over 24 hours, then you're going to want to fill this out as much as you can, and then just go ahead and click insert new hospitalization dates. And I'm obviously getting this message here because I didn't fill it out completely, uh, but that's all you're going to have to do. All right, that's it. Thanks.